Hello everybody, Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here, coming at you with a really special one. I'm with Carolyn. Hi, Hi Carolyn. Hi. Because today, um, we are starting Bayoun Cat. Now, but both of us have mentioned this on our floss tube, so you're all aware of this for the most part. Let me show it to you. This is the Al Forest embroidery one that we both absolutely fell in love with and decided to start together at Stitch Con. 2020 had different ideas. <laughs> but we are not going to be deterred because technology. So we are starting it together regardless. So today is the first day of Stitch Con, right? Right. So here we are. <laughs> we are. How are you today, Carolyn? Good. How are you? I'm good. Are you good. excited? I'm so excited. We have another new start. I know, yay. <laughs> I told a friend who doesn't stitch, I said, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a new start with Jan tomorrow. And she said, another one? <laughs> I said, you mind your business. She, I think she did say, she said, how many do you have now? And I thought back to our last video when I asked you how many whips you had, and I said, don't ask. Do not <laughs> ask me how many I have. question to ask a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, ooh, that's offensive. <laughs> Glasses on, needles Glasses on. on. Yep. <laughs> Actually, I do have my first stitch in because I had to find the center and I didn't want to do that on screen. So. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so I am starting in the center. And I am starting in the upper left. And why did you decide to start in the upper left? Do, well, you pretty much always do. I almost always do. If, yeah. if it's, there's a, there's a nice motif in the upper left of this one that's pretty easy to start there. Yeah, it's a pretty Quaker. Yeah. How many colors are in that? What's that? How many colors are in that one? This one? In the Quaker, in the little motif. The first one is just two different colors. Well, that'll be pretty, so that'll and be I, an idea. Yeah. And I wanted to show, kind of, we were talking about how we're going to organize the floss. Right. So I, think, I think, Jan, we both use these floss thread keepers. Right. right. And I put them on here. Did you do the same thing? <laughs> Even that matches. <laughs> okay. I thought I was being all cute and inventive, but I, so were you. <laughs> yeah, and these are such nice tags. They're so yeah, cute. Yeah, I love these tags. But of course, I didn't want to bobbinate, you know, because I don't do that. I will say, though, yeah. I've already noticed one uh, limitation or conundrum or something to keep in mind doing it this way. Yeah. So, you know, you, you put the needle in and you pull out a strand, right? Yeah. Well, number one, because this is fairly highly variegated floss. Yeah. We're going to have to make sure that the second strand that we pull out, I assume you're using two, right, over 32, on 32 count. Yeah. The fabric that comes in the kit is a 32 count, so two strands. So when you pull out the second strand, you have to make sure you're pulling it out from the same section right yes length so that the yep. variegation matches you have to make sure that you're matching the ends up correctly so the variegation matches so all those things that you wouldn't normally think about if you're using dmc right yep yeah it is quite variegated yeah it's pretty it is very pretty and after two stitches i like stitching with it <laughs> <laughs> very pretty well, I like that the kit, everything we needed, I'm using the needle too that came with I the kit. Too. Right, right. It's a really nice needle. It is nice. It's Small sturdy. high. Yes. Um, nice thickness. I don't know that they say anywhere what brand it is or anything, so I'm afraid we can't, we can't say that, but. Right. I did message them on Instagram. They have an English Instagram account. And I did message them on, a, on there asking if they would be willing to put this pattern up as a PDF. I have not heard back yet. So. Hopefully. Well, and you know, who knows what the situation is like in Russia right now. Yeah. I haven't really heard anything about how they're doing, you know, like a been hearing from Spain and Italy and that kind of thing. And of course, right. New Zealand, but I haven't really heard anything from people in Russia. Yeah. So, I don't know. So why did you start in the middle then? 
since you guys, you, you don't know. Plus, like you said the other day when we talked about this, dessert first. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I wanted to work on the cat. I wanted to work on I the was cat. Going, I was thinking about starting in the bottom left to, uh -huh. to work on, let me share the picture again. Um, there is a line of mice along the bottom border. So yeah. along here. So I was going to start down here because those mice are awfully dark, darn cute. Okay, right. You know, so this is the center right here next to this yellow house. I decided it would be fun to be able to work on the houses and work on this pretty tail, get up here to these motifs. So yeah. Nice. That was my point because I am probably only going to be working on this for the rest of the week. Well, no, not the rest of the week. This is Thursday, isn't it? For a week. <laughs> A week, yeah. So it'd be fun to get the cat, some progress on the cat, I decided. Very good. Balmy spring day will get put away for this. Oh, it is? Okay. Now, are you uh, going to do a rotation? Well, you know, on my video, I talked about doing um, Farewell to Anger Fridays. Mm -hmm. It may be just hate Fridays so that I can decide which one of those I want to work on because I am enjoying balmy spring day so much. Yeah. Um, I'm up to 2%. Woo wow. <laughs> that's great. That's so that's great. Silly. Um, but my rotation is still going to be an hour a day on like fragments in time, an hour a day on grace. Um, still have my work, project that I have to get time in on. Yeah. Um, and then this will be in the evenings. Okay. So. It's not enough time in the day, is there? No, especially when you have to take a nap and eat and all that <laughs> <laughs> You poor thing, Jan. Yeah. Priorities. It's really hard. You poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. How are, are you going to work on this for some time here or I think just uh this afternoon and this evening okay and then there's just you know so much going on um to stitch so I think it will get a four or five hour rotation but probably not really until next year early next year oh, okay um too many other things on your schedule too many other things yep well, I'm well planned to next funny. year at this point <laughs> I, 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 there's no way I could plan out that far. I just, right. my mind changes too much. Of course, I don't even know where I'm going to be two yeah. months from now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah. What I'm going to have with me, what I'm not going to have access to. Hopefully yeah. I will have a new LNS to shop at. That'll be fun. Yeah. So, yeah. Hard to plan. Yeah. Well, and I like planning and organizing and all that anyway. Yeah. I like the idea of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, my Myers-Briggs type is. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember the middle ones, but you know, I probably INTJ. So okay. introvert. Um, intuitive, I forget what the T is. Thinking. I might be F instead of T, actually. T and is then, thinking and F is feeling. F is feeling, yeah. And then um, J for the organization. And Mike always teases me that, you know, I'm just such an organizer, but <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I think I'm halfway in between. <laughs> <laughs> there are there are ways that he is much more organized than I am, even though he is definitely not a J. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my. I am ISFJ. Okay. Yeah. So I I only really remember it by the little write up personality. Um you know, they assigned like a Mine is the defender, but then they have like the artist, the thinker. Oh, right, right. That's really how I remember it. 
it's been so many years ago since I did that that I don't really remember it that well. Yeah, I was surprised. Mine has been pretty consistent because, you know, people, some people, for some people, they say, oh, it changes every time I take it. Huh. Mine has been exactly the same every time I, I've yeah. taken it. I think there's parts of me that are the, would always be the same, like the introverted part of me, definitely. Yeah. Um, I think in different circumstances, too, like my work person was different than my home person. And yeah. I think I've, my creative side has grown more over the years. So, you know, that part of my personality is more developed than it used to be. Or I accept it and embrace it more than I could before. Yeah. You know, and so because I recognize it more, I think the answers would be different. Sure. That makes sense. Well, so. not, I mean... The idea is that we learn and grow and change over the course of our lives anyway. Hopefully. That's the point or the goal. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Although I have to chuckle. So my older son who lives in Seattle, right, the massage therapist, um, yeah. who of course is still out of work. They're supposed to be going back next week. I don't know really how he fills all of his hours and I probably don't want to know. <laughs> But every once in a while, we'll get a text, a strange text. And so yesterday's text was, um, oh, shoot, it started with something like, did you know that Seattle is further north than, uh, than some of Canada? And, and most of Europe is further north than Baltimore. And <laughs> it's like he's discovered a world map. <laughs> I just picture him just laying there looking at the map and being, well, would you look at that? It's like, oh, you are so gosh darn cute. How high are you right now? <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. Yeah, so, as you said, learning and growing all the time. Right. Okay. But, yeah, so he is going back to work next week. Okay. So that should be interesting. Mostly to see how many people like are actually willing to get massages. Yeah. You know, at this point in time. Yep. So. We are um, in the county that um, I probably talked about this last time we were together too. That. Portland is in, in our county, we are not yet in phase one, which is where bars and restaurants are open. We're not there yet. Right. They, they applied last week for phase one to start tomorrow, but we haven't heard if we've been okayed yet. Uh -huh. And if it's supposed to start tomorrow, um, it's about 2.15 here in the afternoon. I, I'm assuming that it will not start tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You think you would have heard something by now. Yeah. So... And that's the phase where, you know, bars and restaurants at 25% right, right. and Yeah, our restaurants opened last Friday. Okay. Um, I don't think bars are open. Maybe they are. I don't pay that much attention to bars. <laughs> yeah. Um, the big thing for us is the tourism. Sure. They're opening Inner Island. Well, Inner Island Travel was opened again. Um, you know, maybe last week or early this week, they've stopped as of today, um, the 14 day quarantine for inner island travel. Okay. Um, but they still have the 14 day quarantine in place for people coming from anywhere else. Okay. Which, and then, and they're also working on, and that, that's extended until the end of July and they are putting thermal detectors and facial recognition detectors in at the airport okay so um i'm sure that's to help detect anybody that might be coming in with a fever sure and then also to help um keep track of them you know right. once they're let loose here yeah so, but most of the most of the like tourist places are open now but they're not getting the business, of course, because <laughs> there's no tourists or right. very, very few, yeah. which is good. Yep. 
because I, I hate to think, you know, Hawaii is doing so good. I yeah. hate to think um, what will happen when they start. And, and they're talking about like having a travel bubble. So allowing people to come in from places where like New Zealand, like Japan, like South Korea, where the, the it's basically been eradicated. Mm -hmm. um, but no decision has been made on that yet. So who knows? Yeah, that makes sense. How's the wrist doing? Well, I didn't wear my brace most of the day yesterday um, because it needed to be washed. And my hand was hurting by the end of the day. Yeah. So, um, and my plan was to wear it through this weekend and see how I was doing. Okay. Yesterday kind of made me think I'm going to need to wear it longer. So, yeah, it's, it's okay for the most part. There's just one part on the back of my hand that if I hold my, my hand twisted for too long, I start to feel it. So it's getting there. Slow, slow process though. Yeah, it is. I think it was probably a pretty bad sprain. Yeah. But like I said, I could still stitch. Good. And that's the important part. That is the important part. So you said you're just going to be working on this today. What is your main focus point otherwise? Is it still Hopper and Hollow or? Um, Harbor Haven scene eight. I'm on eight, okay, which. Good. I should be able to finish maybe tomorrow. Oh, wow. Um, if not, definitely this weekend. Nice. And then, yes, on, um, and then switching to get the first scene of um, spring at Hawkwind Hollow done. Wow. And the Friends at Hawkwind Hollow group has just exploded. I've in seen a, posts, yeah. In a good way. Um, that's awesome. And we're starting the Christmas at Hawker and Hollow, July 15th, which is an unplanned. See, this is my problem with, <laughs> I still keep all my regular plans and then things just get piled on top of that. Funny how that happens. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was not going to start Christmas, but then somebody in the group said, hey, why let's don't we start, start Christmas? Christmas. <laughs> like, well, okay. And you said, Jan, let's start Christmas. And I said, no. I was surprised, so I asked you again. So, you know, <laughs> my, my hey, whole family. This is not the man I'm talking to. <laughs> Who is this I'm talking to? My whole family is from Minnesota, and they call it Minnesota etiquette, where you refuse something three times before you accept. <laughs> so, I had to ask you a couple more. I'd like, are you, wait, you said no to a new start? Um, you held firm, though. I'm very impressed. Well, like I said, I don't actually own that one yet. So it's easier to say no? It's easier to say no. And also, the ones that are calling me, I want to start one of those national park ones. Yeah, those were really pretty. I need to go. Cool. I need to, where, what site was that again? I need to go. Awesome look. Studio. Okay. And that, that's a dangerous Etsy shop. They have so many really cool. They're the ones with like the different animals that are the mandalas. Oh, yeah. No, really, really cool. Right. Um, I also am aching to start that Sunshine one by Edvard Munch that I got. Yeah. Um, oh, that is just so gorgeous. But, you know, the conundrum is um, I don't feel like taking the time to go through my floss and pull out the floss I need. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you have the Sunrise Sunset by Carolyn Manning. Yes. Have you started, you haven't started those yet? No, because I, I started Beachcomber and um, Shooting Star <laughs> that I haven't touched in a while yet. <laughs> that darn woman. Have you seen she's coming out with like color themed ones based on colors of crystals? Yes, I did see that. Today's is called Moss Agate mm. and it's greens with a little bit of purple. And that's not, you know, purples aren't usually my color. The amethyst one that she released yesterday was okay, but purple isn't 
a die for color for me. But today I'm like, Carolyn, just just stop. For once you aren't talking about me. I know. Well, she definitely knows a good thing when she sees it, because I think yeah. those quickly went to the top of her bestseller chart. She's very talented, for sure. Yes, she is. So yeah, I, I because of all these other things that are weighing on my brain, yeah. I'm not I'm not tempted by a hot run hollow one at all at this point. Well that's fair. I'll give you that. Not to mention all the other whips that I have. Patchwork has been calling my name. Yeah. Of course, Pretty Little India. I wanted to get that, try and get that done soon. Um, Are you close to a finish on that one? I can't remember how, I haven't seen it in a while. Halfway done, yeah. Yeah. But, those are, they're deceiving, those um, Pretty Little. Yeah, because they're just little chunks that you have to keep changing. A lot of color changes, yeah. So yeah. And of course, you know, the idea of being in the RV for a length of time and ho only having access to certain things. Yeah. Even though I will have a, a needlework store close, um, makes me think, oh, well, that would be a good thing. Just focus on getting your whips done. And then I think to myself, oh, Jan, who are you kidding? You know? Did you learn nothing from monogamania? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I will have all of my whips with me, though. Yeah. That, that has, to, has to happen. I was going to say, you must have storage in the undercarriage. Of yeah, the we do. And I'll, I'll have bins. And, well, they're all ready bins. <laughs> yeah. And they're all, you know, I've gotten them all packed before we were yeah. put on hold, so they're still all in their bins upstairs. The you have hard, them organized in a certain way or just? No, no. The hard part is, so we have our household goods, right? And that's, that's pretty much everything. Yeah. And then the way it usually works, you have your household goods, Oh, I just realized there's a front and back to this fabric. Did you realize that? No. Uh, it must be printed because one side has more modeling than the other. Do you see that? I'm going to get a white piece of paper and see. Okay. Let me show people. This yeah. is the back side. Let's see if you can see it on screen. Yep, that's the front side. Can you see that there's more modeling? Okay, show me the other side. I think I did it backwards. I think you did too. Is this your front that you're showing now with the needle yeah. on the front? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the back. Show me the other side again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I, that's up to you to decide whether you care or not. I don't I mean, think I do. If you more. didn't notice to begin with, I wouldn't yeah. worry about it. Did you do it right? I did. Of course you did. <laughs> that was just pure happens, happenstance. Yeah, that's good to know. Because <laughs> I hadn't noticed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to keep going because I don't, it's still really pretty either way. Yeah, it is. It's a pretty fabric. And again, I don't think, well, if they do say what it is, it's in Russian, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't, I saw, I saw that it's a 32 count Belfast linen, but that's all I saw. Okay, okay, yeah. So anyways, household goods, you know, is the, pretty much everything. Um, and then you can mail, like, stuff that you want to have with you. Okay. Well, my bins of the cross-stitch stuff are those big, like, under the bed bins, yeah. So I don't know how we'll mail that, so I may have to mm -hmm. rethink that. Yeah. We shall see. A lot of stuff to figure out. So many we'll details. Finally hear something. Yeah. But I definitely want to have my whips with me, and I need to have all of my DMC and all of my 
over dyes and silks, of course, and yeah. all over fabric. Yeah, that seems, that seems logical to me. Well, and you know, Mike's like, well, you know, you can put it in a storage unit close by so you can go and get it, whatever. And I was like, the other day when I started to kit up, oh, the July, the fourth, or the um, Christmas days stitch along and the by the bay at, um, applique one. Yeah. She's like, Mike's like, are you starting new ones? I'm like, yeah, this is for this and this is for that. And I said, and see, honey, this is, this is the way it works. It's almost, almost spur of the moment. I'm going to kit this up. Right. You know, I need to have the stuff here. I can't be like, I have to do a storage unit. <laughs> yep. And I think he probably rolled his eyes at me because, you know, well, why couldn't you just go to the storage unit? But that's okay. He's used to me by now. I was going to say, he must be. <laughs> you bought a car there when you got to Hawaii, right? No, we, ha what, no, we um, shipped our Jeep oh, and you then did ship we, leased, we, have, we leased a second car. I see. So will you ship the car? You will return the car then that you leased? Yeah, well, we, we'll, we'll, and it'll be a, you know, an early, we'll have to break the lease. Sure. Um, Hopefully, <laughs> knock on yeah, serious. wood. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we'll ship the we'll ship the jeep back. Okay. And we don't know yet whether um, we're going to get a second vehicle in San Antonio. You know, from the RV park to Mike's work, it's only like three miles three and a half miles. And so he's thinking about getting an electric bike uh -huh. um, to ride to work. Yeah. So that I'll have the Jeep during the day. After that, who knows? Um, we're kind of thinking we're going to stay in the RV. You know, we were originally planning on buying a house there. Yeah. Now we're rethinking that and thinking really? we're going to stay in the RV. Um, Really? Indefinitely, because our, our plans are changing somewhat um, for what we want to do after retirement. So, okay. who knows? We'll see. Yeah. As Mike said, pending change 325. <laughs> We're nothing if not flexible. Exactly. Exactly. And of course, we don't know, you know, what the future is going to be for Mike's parents. They're yeah. still not doing well, so it's just really hard. Yeah. I'm going to start a second color. I'm, I'm going just, to start on that little house. Okay, I'm just at about the end of my first thread. I'm really liking this thread. It's really pretty. Really? Is it? Is it DMC? Did you, do you know? Did you see? I haven't the faintest idea. I assume it's their own. Well, I guess I should say I always assumed it was their own dye job. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. I assume someplace on their website they must have information in English that you can. Yeah. Learn more about. I haven't really looked. At least I would hope. Actually, I do remember seeing, I think on Instagram that they just recently got um, an English version of their website up. Oh, nice. I'm sure because they are having so much um, traction here. Yeah. Have you done an L Forest embroidery before? No, I haven't. Mm -mm. Me either. You know, I've, I've looked at them for a while some of them are my aesthetic some aren't yeah i was looking back through their pdfs you know when i was first seeing if this one is available on a p as a pdf and i really like some of their older patterns a lot yeah 
slide. No, I haven't. I haven't done one. I want to show my progress so far. So I have my first thread in. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah. I love the variegation in it. Yeah, I think that's the color that I'm starting with on the house. Here is mine. Just this, um, oops, hold it up, cover it up. One of the oh, little yeah. bags down on the tail. Oh, that blue is so pretty. Blue pretty? Yeah, it's yeah. very pretty. Yeah, I think this is going to be gorgeous. Yeah, this will be fun. And it's a kitty. <laughs> How can you go wrong? That's right. It's a kitty. How are your kitties? Well, okay for the most part. Yeah. Can't complain too much. Well, except for Sasha coming in at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> you know, one of our problems with both of them really, but Sasha in particular, you know, letting them out on the deck, they love it. Yeah. And of course, not, not during the heat of the day, but first thing in the morning and at night after the sun goes down, they lay on those chairs out there and just don't move. It's just like perfect for them. Yeah. So Sasha starts deciding around 4, 4.35, then it's time for us to get up and let him out. Yep. And, you know, <laughs> it used to be around 5, 5.30, he was hungry. Now it's like, I want to go outside. <laughs> no brat. <laughs> They're getting you trained, you know. Well, we have this, what we call the zapper. Um, it's a, it's a, just a little device thingy that you, you press a button and it sends out an ultra, ultrasonic sound that of course we can't hear, but animals can. And we originally got it because um, where we lived in Sarasota, the houses were really close to each other. Uh -huh. And people on one side had these little yapper dogs. And I mean, just, and, and they worked all day. These dogs barked the entire time they were gone. So we you got, got them for your neighbor's dogs? <laughs> yes. You better believe it. And so we got the zapper and they would be, so, you know, our houses were next to each other and our pool was back here. And the, the dogs would be here barking at us constantly. Wow, yeah. So we got That's not crazy. And, and we'd zap them and then it would at least send them to the other side of the yard so they wouldn't be like right in our faces. Um, but it also works really well on the cats. <laughs> <laughs> Although Sasha, if he really wants something and we, we zap him with that thing, he will just like hunker down and like just, you can tell he's just like stubborn. <laughs> well, I am not moving no matter what you do. <laughs> That's why I love cats too, you know? Oh my God, he is such a personality. Yeah. But no, he is, luckily, he's pretty stable health-wise at this point. And good. Good, good. He is our little iron kitty that nothing ever seems to go wrong with her, thank heavens. Good. So. And how old are they? They turned 13 in February. Okay. So. Mine turned 13 in March, so just about oh, really? the yeah funny and yours don't have any health problems right not really um they're both pretty um simon has a whatever the common urinary tract disease oh, so he yeah. has a special special expensive food for life yeah yeah but, um jack does not have that but jack does not like it when his food is different than his brothers oh simon gets special food yeah so they both now get special food. Yeah. It won't hurt. It won't hurt, you know, right. Jack to have it. So. Well, Nina really likes it that she gets a special treat when, when Sasha does to get his shot. So. <laughs> yeah, you can't give one, one thing and not the no. other. He gets the shot. I get the treat. <laughs> because I'm a princess. <laughs> Things we do for our cats. Yeah. Do they have to, so when you go back to the States with them, do they have to be quarantined on the state, on the mainland side? No, because there's no, 
you know, the reason you quarantine coming here is because there's no rabies on the islands. And so they want to make sure oh. that any animal coming in is rabies free. And if you have know. all the testing done, the, the idea is you have all the testing done and you get a health certi certificate 10 days before flying here, yeah. um, then you don't have to do quarantine because all the checks have been done to say they're rabies free. Um, the only time you quarantine is if that stuff hasn't been done. Got that's it. how it is now. That's not how it used to be. I didn't realize that was the reason, but that makes sense. Yeah. And I think that like, if we were to go to say England, say we left here and went to England. Yeah. England has the same kind of rules if yeah. you're going there from an, a non rabies free place. But if we were going from here, I don't think we'd have to worry about it since, you know, it's rabies free. Right. Got it. That makes sense. It's yeah, one less thing to worry about, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. You've already flown with them once, so. Yeah. The <laughs> conundrum will be time of year and where we can fly into, but. Yeah. It's not something we'll worry about until the time comes. Yeah. And you know, I'd almost like an excuse to fly into Seattle so we could see my, my older son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe drive down through Portland. You should. We have an LNS here. <laughs> it wouldn't be a, you know, a pleasure trip, but we'd have to stop someplace. I mean, you might, you're going to need a place to stay. And, and if it's just for lunch, you know. Yeah, you need to eat. <laughs> How far is it from Portland to Seattle? Um, according to me, about three hours. According to you. <laughs> Some people say two and a half. <laughs> oh, I get it. Um, for us a it lot of it, yeah, a lot of it depends on traffic, of course. But yeah. usually I would say about three hours. Okay. So that would be perfect stopping for lunch. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I have it all. And packed. you know what, Jan? Hmm. We don't have sales tax in Oregon. So anything you buy in Oregon, no there sales tax. Go. So. Yeah, I gotta like that. So you should stock up on your. On whatever. Anything, computers, anything. anything. Wow. A new car. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem with cars is oftentimes states that you move to make you pay taxes. So. Right. Yeah. But uh, it'll just be nice being in a place like Texas. The difference in just registering the car. Yeah. It was eight hundred dollars to register both cars here. Really? This year? Yeah. Yeah. It's just insane. Everything is just so much more expensive, so much more. you know, because we were thinking about um, buying a house in San Antonio. We've been looking at the real estate market, so we have a pretty good idea of how much things cost there, right? Yeah. Um, for some reason, I've started getting open house notifications for places here in Honolulu. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 555 square foot, one bedroom, one bath, studio apartment downtown, $369,000. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Three bed, two bath, Jeez. single family home, 1,500 square foot in San Antonio. Yeah. Anywhere from 190 to really? 215. I mean, so I look at these things and think, really? who can afford to buy here? <laughs> yeah, you can't afford much. It's just insane. Wow, that's good prices for San Antonio. Too. Yeah, it's really good, which is, you know, one of the reasons we were thinking about buying there because yeah. it is a good investment. Now, of course, with everything that's happening, the real estate market is going down there. Yeah. Zillow sends out weekly reports on the different areas and everything's on a downward trend at this point. Sure, sure. But, 
So we'll see. At this point, we just want to get a foot back in the main one. Yeah. Sure, anywhere <laughs> at this point. Well, you know, we have got to get to Phoenix. Yeah. And see Mike's, you know, even if it's in a park six feet away, you know, we've got to see his parents. Yep. So, and of course he is, he is just so stressed about all of this. He's just, mm -hmm. it's bad. This is nice. That's nice. Get a glass of wine. There you go. For lunch. <laughs> for lunch. Just in time for your afternoon nap. That's right. I could be a European. Yes, me too. So is your work day done? Uh, almost. Mm -hmm. I'll check back in after this and a couple more emails to send. And Is this your lunch break again? Yeah. Yep. And then, yeah, and then it's my weekend. So what do you have planned for your weekend? Well, I'm teaching that class. Um, oh, right, right. And this is finals week that we're in right now. So oh. I'm quite behind on grading. So uh, I will be spending my weekend grading oh. papers. Yikes. How many people are in the class? Uh, 60. Oh, that's a huge class, Carolyn. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yep. So are these so, like first year med students or like what's their status? So the class I'm teaching is just at a four year undergrad university. Um, and this, so it's not at the med school. Right. Um, okay. So this class is um, just undergrads. I think it's a 300 level class. Mm -hmm. So they could be. So it is upperclassmen then. Yeah. They're very good. You know, what I've graded so far, they're very, very good. That's good. Just takes a lot of time to grade that many. And it's an online class, so it's hard to come up with projects other than writing assignments. Yeah, so um, it, like essays that you have to grade? Yeah. Well, it's so funny because it's like, I plan the assignments. I create yeah. all the assignments, and then I sit here and complain about how much grading <laughs> I have to do. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Is there so much grading? Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh, my fault. <laughs> Lesson learned. Yep. Yeah. So, um, so are you going to teach again next semester or is this just kind of a one-off thing? Um, yeah, I think, I think, um, so I taught in this, in the winter term and I taught this term and then I'll be teaching again, one of the same classes, family, um, sociology of the family mm. in fall term, but we're on quarters here. So, our fall term doesn't start till the end of September. Oh, so you do have a bit of a break then. So I have a bit of a break, yep. Good. Um, even before COVID, they said they weren't, because I asked about a summer teaching job. <laughs> yeah. And they just said, you know, they just aren't doing much this summer, even before COVID. So I, I assume now, especially, yeah, they're, they're just not doing a whole lot. So that's fine. It'll be nice to have a little break. and. Yeah. Not worry about grading 60 papers. <laughs> right. <laughs> Times 10 weeks. Oh my goodness, yeah. yeah. But it'll be good. What well, about you? You guys going up to the North Shore or anything? We don't go on the weekends because that's when more people tend to be out. Oh, sure. Um, hopefully we'll get somewhere at some point. <laughs> Costco. You know, well, you know, both of us are homebodies and, and thank heavens yeah. for that, right? Right. Um, when we do start to feel antsy, it's like we plan to get out and then when the time comes, it's like, meh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. really feel like it. You know? So we'll see. Yeah. Depends on how bad it gets. 
And if we do, we'll go early to beat any crowds that may be out. Sure. Is it, hmm? is it really hot and humid there already? It's getting there, yeah. It's yeah. still, um, the trade winds are starting to taper off. There's still a few days where you get a lot of gusts. Um, it's kind of a grayer day today than it's been, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, it's starting to get to the point where it's, we have to run the AC off all the time. And, yeah. yeah. In the evenings, if it tapers off enough, we can open the doors and get outside on the deck for a little bit, which yeah. it, it helps, you know. So. Good. Well, what do you think? Should we call think, it a day? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Where did you get? I'll show you. I started incorporating the blue. I think it's the same blue. Yeah. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah. Very nice. It's going really quick, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And how about you? So there's the start of the little house. Oh, cute. Yeah. And I think it's funny because I think it's the same two colors that you're using. I think it is too. Yep. And the same gold. Yep. Oh, that's funny. That's really going to yeah. be pretty. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep with this for the week. And then I think next week, I have to get with Betty, but I think next week we'll start that um, one by By the Bay, the Atlas yep. K one. Um, I think that's going to be a lot of stitching too. Although yeah. it is block, at least it is blocks of color. So that might go fairly fast. Yeah. So we'll see what Great. happens with the rule after K. Great. Excellent. Anyway. Well, thanks for having me, Jan. That was fun. Yeah. I wish we could have done it in person, but well, this is a great, um, um, great second choice. So. Thank heavens we have this option. Yeah, you know, exactly. For a exactly. lot of different reasons. And yeah. next year, Stitch Con. Stitch Con. 2021. I'll be We're there. Have the best table. <laughs> <laughs> the best. That's right. All right, Carolyn. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, too. I'll talk Bye. to you soon. Bye-bye.